This is the story of a uh, couple named Levi and Catherine Coffin. Levi and Catherine Coffin were from Indiana, and uh, rumor has it that they helped uh, 2,000 slaves escape uh, via the Underground Railroad. Now, uh, we talked about the Underground Railroad. Um, Levi and Catherine Coffin what, were what was called a station agent. They uh, provided um, shelter, they provided a hiding spot, some food and water, and some guidance while slaves were on the Underground Railroad. Neither Levi nor Catherine would travel with slaves, although just a little bit, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, one thing that Levi and Catherine Coffin did is to provide hiding spots in their uh, in their Indiana home. Here's a picture of uh, one of those hiding spots. It was a, f a false wall, meaning a wall that was put in with some room behind it. As you can see, that bed uh, was then slid in front of the um, in front of the door, so nobody could tell that there was a um, hiding space um, in the bedroom. One story that I really like uh, refers to this well. Now, at the time, nobody had a well or a water source inside their house. And uh, what you would do is you'd go out to the city square um, and get your fetch your water, probably two or three buckets a day, one in the morning, maybe two in the morning, one in the evening, uh, for washing, bathing, and for cooking. Well, anyway, uh, they didn't want to be suspicious by uh, going back and forth to get water so much when they had runaway slaves there. Uh, so what they did is they built their own um, well in their house very secretly, very quietly. Now, even though they had their own water source, in order for uh, nobody to be suspicious of why Levi and Catherine weren't coming to the well in the town square, uh, they continued, again, even though they had a water source um, in their home, they continued to uh, go out to the public well so nobody was suspicious. Catherine, what she did as a, a little extra touch is she made a doll or made dolls for the children who were on the Underground Railroad and hiding in their home. Now, you can imagine that these kids are frightened, they're terrified, um, and here's a woman who not only makes them a toy, um, but makes them a doll that looks just like them. Not really just like them, but at least reflected their skin color. What a lovely, lovely gesture. Now, when it was time for a runaway slave to move on, and you didn't want to stay in one place too long, um, what Levi would do is he would go to the air quote market, and he created a wagon with a fake bottom as seen here. Uh, runaway slaves would hide um, underneath, they would put a, a fake bottom on it, and then stack uh, uh, bags of wheat um, or hay or whatever else around it so nobody could see the runaway slaves. Um, this was usually in the evening. Levi would go out to the edge of town, um, and then he would go to the market, and then at that time, runaway slaves would sneak out of the uh, wagon and be on their way. 